Hello, so we are back, and this time we have a graphic card to repair, yeah? So this is a RTX 4080, and the customer sent it here, it's not displaying. The customer doesn't really know about the history, he said he, he got it from somewhere. So what do we have here? We have a computer, which is, uh, it's on right now, it's, yeah, the Windows it's on. Uh... Just ignore the picture, it's upside down. Um, has a RTX RTX 2060, I believe. So we're going to use this uh, this computer. I'm going to use the extender. Yeah, this is a 16x extender. The HDMI is the one from the Microsoft, so we can have the picture on the screen. Let me take out the old... Uh, GPU Here that's the old one Now let's come with the new one Let me plug the adapter first Okay, so that adapter is in. It's a bit annoying because, uh, you know, we have, uh, we need some space here to work. We need some space. Okay, the graphic card is connected. We need the cable, the power. Okay, in order to test, we have to fool the graphic card. Actually, we have uh, we have three connectors plugged in, and we have only one. Okay, so what we can do? We can short the first pin with the ground. Okay. Now let's try and check some voltages. I'm not, I'm not sure how can I do it. So what do we have here? Do we have 12? One second. Twelve volts is present, yeah, on the current uh, sensors or current resistors. On the GPU we have no uh, no vCore. Uh, where is the 3.3? Let's try to find the 3.3. I mean, I checked the, the, the board already under the microscope and I cannot see like cracked. Because usually that's the problem with those cards. They have the, you know, the, 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 the bottom part cracked. Wait. Wait. Wait a second. <laughs> I just I just tap with the multimeter and I heard a spark. <laughs> you know sparks are no good, are no good sparks for the graphic card. Sparks are no good. You understand, yeah? <laughs> Okay, so I believe it's a desolder coil, but let's check together. One second, because I, I don't even know where I came with the multimeter on this coil. No, not here. This one, so check here, check here. Huh? How this is even possible, huh? Okay, that's not a problem. Let's uh, let's solder back the the coil.
Let's check the coil to see, to be sure it's still fine. We should have continuity on the coil. Perfect. Now let's check the coil. And the the coil is not good. Wait, here I have to have a beep. Yeah, I should have zero ohms, and it's it's not. Oh wait, it's not solder. Okay. Okay, I got it. I got it. Uh, I didn't know actually even the pad. I, 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 did, I didn't think the pad is broken. So I believe this pad is going under the coil. But obviously it's not. Yeah, my fault. Good. So that, that one is still fine. And this one is fine. Yeah, now it's good. Now it's good. Yeah, and I believe it bones just fine, the solder. If not, we're going to solder with solder iron. So what do you think? That's what I call a proper solder, right? Yeah, that's fine. Now let's check now with the multimeter. Yeah, now our coil is fine. Now let's test one more time. Let's test one more time. The problem is this is a, like a testing setup. <laughs> but if the GPU is getting hot, uh, I will unplug quickly the power. And uh, probably I will use a thermal pad as a heatsink. It's not a good idea, but better than nothing. Just, you know, to get some picture. Let me switch to microscope and let's start the computer. Oh, let me plug the power. I forgot to plug the power. I forgot to plug the power. Okay, shorty the pin to ground, power on, and the chip is getting hot, I can't believe, the chip is getting hot, and we have the logo, check there, no, I can't, I can't hold it, no, I can't hold it, I can't hold it, no, it's too hot, ha ha, lol, that's crazy, it was only a coil, that's crazy. <laughs> Unbelievable was that this older coil, that's all. Okay. Uh, I'm really sorry, this was quite an easy one. I'm not like a graphic card specialist, but I do fix them, yeah? Usually, you know, blow up power supply, shorted capacitors, things like that. But if you are looking, this is a 4090, but it's it's... It's applying even on the other cards. You have one pin on these connectors, yeah? One pin which has to be connected to ground, you see? So this pin from here has to be connected to ground. So uh, all 
those pins go into the board. So I have one connector here. Now on the on the on the connector, you see those four small pins. Yeah. So let's press the let's press the power. Let me plug the let me plug the Maybe maybe you you will need it, yeah. So we have the red light. When it's red light, we have cool graphics, yeah. So the the graphic card does well, it will not start even if it has 12 volts because now has 12 volts. In order to start, uh, those pins they have I, I believe 3.3, yeah. So short the the first pin from here, you can see it with the ground. And now it's yeah it's getting hot. I I can feel my finger. I can feel the the GP is getting hot. Yeah, so that's how you do it. Yeah, so we fix a RTX 4080, which is uh, insane amount of money. Even now, if you want to buy it, it's crazy. It's ex still expensive. Still expensive. And all what it was, it was a coil. I can't believe this coil. Yeah. Usually they come here with fracture. You can see they have crack. Uh, uh, you have the crack, the board is cracked. But if you pay attention, you will see the 3.3, and it's saying on the board, you, you have here on the board a few marks 3.3, you have 1.2 there, 12 there, you have things like that, yeah? But usually the 3.3 is going to hell, and when you don't have 3.3, this board, it will not start. Okay? Cool? Fantastic. I'm happy I helped the customer. I'm happy I helped him. Fantastic, fantastic. Okay, so I'll stop now. I will. Uh, uh, if you ask me for more, I bought this adapter. You can buy it from uh, from Amazon. I'm not sure if I have it on my list. This one is like ten pounds cheap, so it can work like nicely here. I don't even have space on my computer. This is a this is a Dell, so I'm uh, I'm keeping this Dell only for uh, only for graphic cards. That's that's all what, what this computer is doing. I'm not using it for something else. But it's a nice Dell. I think it's a Dell XPS and uh, something with nine nine something. I don't remember exactly. But yeah, it's good for testing. You know, testing different things like graphic cards, like whatever. Yeah. Good. Uh, yeah, I have to put back the old card. Okay, so I'll say thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video, and uh, see you on the next one. Bye.